in this diagram here, we're having a triangle of A, B, C, which has point D, E, and sides A, B, and A, C, respectively, having parallel lines of D, E, and B, C. So in this diagram, we are asked to prove the theorem which states that a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionally. So basically, we are asked to prove that AD over DB is equal to AE over EC. So that is the proof that we are required to, prove, to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to construct our lines. So I'm going to first construct them in our diagram. So we're going to construct line DC. So we're going to construct line DC, which goes like that. And it's perpendicular line to AE, which is this one here. So it's going to be like this. And having a perpendicular height, we're going to call it perpendicular height of K in this case. Then we're going to construct another line, which is line B. E. So it's going to be line BE and E being perpendicular to the base of DA in this case. And then you're going to call this one here perpendicular height H, right? So we are having a perpendicular height of K and of H. So let me just write H here. Fine. So now that we've drawn our our, our lines which form triangles we are going to identify the areas of these triangles so as I said the first step first step was to construct was to construct line DE and BE and also construct D, which is perpendicular to AE, and construct E, which is perpendicular to DA. So this is the first step. So the second step is to establish our areas now. Areas of triangles, right? So the first triangle that we're going to start, we're going to start from the top, looking from this side. Looking from this side, I'm saying we are going to be focusing on the base AE. That is going to be our base. And the base AE is for is for the triangle is for the triangle of ADE and triangle DEC. So that is the base of these triangles here. So if I may write it properly here. Triangle ADE divided by triangle DEC. So these are the triangles which have a base of AE for the top one and EC for the bottom one. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to identify the areas as I said. So it's going to be 1 over 2 multiplied by, so the triangle of ADE. What is its base? As I said, we're looking from this side. So the base of triangle ADE is going to be AE. So it's going to be AE multiplied by its height, its perpendicular height. Since we're looking from this side, its perpendicular height is going to be H. So it multiplied by H. Divide by what is what is the base for this one here? Triangle D is C. Its base is going to be EC multiplied by its perpendicular height. They share the same perpendicular height of H. Therefore, now this half will cancel out with this half. This H will go away with this H. We are left with AE over EC. Right? So, which, if you take a look, it's the first, it's this part here, AE over EC. Now we're trying to find this part here. So, then um, we're going to look from this side. So looking from that side, we'll write our triangle, our top triangle is triangle ADE. But now we're focusing on the blue lines. 
So let me try angle ADE over triangle DEB. DEB. So it's triangle DEB, right? Remember, looking at the blue side. So now the area, it's going to be half times the base of ADE. What is the base? It's going to be AD. Why? Because we're looking from this side here. So it's going to be AD, its base, and its height, it's going to be H. But now it's blue. Um, let me just change it and say K. Its height is K. Just to be different from the previous one. And then it's going to be half multiplied by the base for the bottom one now. Remembering that we're looking at the blue line. So the base is going to be DB. So you can say DB or BD. It's the same. Multiplied by its perpendicular height, which is K in this case. And therefore, half goes away with half. K goes away with K. You remain with AD over DB. So now we've found this part here, AD over DB. Where where do we continue now? What we need to note is that the top part of our shape or our triangle rather is actually equal. So triangle ADE, remember we said triangle ADE here and also triangle ADE, but they have different perpendicular heights, right? But what we need to note that is these triangles are common. So triangle ADE is equal to triangle ADE. So the reason for that is common. So they are common. They just have a different perpendicular height, but these triangles are common from the top. Then looking at the bottom, looking at the bottom here, and which is going to be these triangles here, this one and this one at the bottom. So we'll simply say triangle DEC is actually equal to triangle DEB. So these bottom triangles are equal. So this triangle DEC, which is this one here, is actually equal to this one here. So the reason for that is because we are having parallel lines that are between these triangles. So as long as we have a situation where there's parallel lines between these two triangles, therefore, they are going to be equal. Why? Because they also share the same base. So the base you can use either this one or this one. So if you have two triangles that are between parallel lines and share the same base, therefore those triangles are equal. So the reason for this, we can simply say DE is parallel to BC. So these triangles are equal. So the fact that we have proven that these triangles are equal, therefore it concludes to say AE, which is this one here, over EC is actually equals to AD over DB, which is this one here. Now we have proven the theorem that says the line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle divides the other two sides proportionally. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.